welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. This is a special video today. I just wanted to share with you some of the more technical aspects of screen printing. And if you're familiar with my videos or you're familiar with some of the articles on my website, catspitproductionsllc.com, then you know that I often will say that screen printing is first a technical process and secondly a skill or an art. Okay. And it's important to know that there are certain industrial applications of screen printing where quality control of your screen making or some of the things that you use in the shop can be very critical. And such an example would be membrane switches, which are switches often used on computers or small electronic devices. Uh, and they're just kind of bubble, it's like a bubble pad and you push down on the buttons. And actually some of these units have membrane switches and we'll take a look close up. And uh, in, in certain industrial applications, it's very critical to be um, very accurate in, in the technical aspects of screen printing in order to achieve the desired result and have the product function properly. So I wanted to share with you today four items. Okay, So the first one we're going to take a look at is an emulsion thickness gauge. All right? So let me take a close look at this. We'll show you how it works. All right, so here we have the first unit. This is the emulsion thickness gauge or your stencil thickness gauge. And basically there's a metal plate that you hold in one hand and you put it on the back side of the screen like this. And then you take the diode and you push it up against there and you can see the measurement on the uh, thickness gauge in micrometers. So you can see 137 micrometers thick and you can do different measurements, 138, 138, 9. You can see that the stencil is very even, very consistent actually. For a manually coated screen, that's pretty amazing actually. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This one was a fun one to go through and check a lot of my screens and just see see how they were, you know, what was going on. All right, so that's it. Stencil thickness, emulsion thickness gauge. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can actually check and get an idea of whether you're coating your screens evenly or not. And uh, it's pretty cool. I, I actually found it quite cool to examine some of my own screens with that and see how, how good I was coating by hand. And uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, secondly, let's take a look at the AquaCheck, the meter that checks for um, humidity in the, in the emulsion. Like after you coat your screens, you let them dry. Well, a lot of people say, well, when do you, when, how do you know when to expose them? When are they ready to expose? Well, depending on your relative humidity, you know, the dry time can vary. But in critical situations where you're going to be doing wicked high detail and you need that thing to be dry, you know, to get a perfect stencil, this is a meter that can actually measure it. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the uh, humidity check or the aqua check to see how much uh, moisture is in the emulsion before you expose it. And you can see the little unit here that there's the check. You can see it works, okay? Right now, when you want to read, you touch the two diodes up to the emulsion and you press read and you'll see that it doesn't move out of the green because it's dry, okay? That's pretty cool. Now watch this. I just actually put a little saliva on there, kind of gross, but now we put saliva on there and now watch it. See? So now it's telling me that, whoa, hey, there's a lot of moisture on there, you know? So you would want to wait until that needle, when you touch it up there, it doesn't move out of the green in the indicator. So that's pretty cool. This one would be, I'd, I'd love to be able to get this to a lot of people who uh, watch my videos and print at home because they're always asking, how long do I let the screen dry? Well, this would help you out a lot for sure. But basically, I always tell you guys, let them dry overnight and you're probably fine. All right, cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I thought that one was pretty cool. And, all right, so let's take a look at, that's pretty simple, you know, checking the humidity. I, I like that one a lot, that was fun. Um, let's look at this one. This is a uh, measure scope, and basically, this is pretty simple. It's, it's, it's pretty obvious what it does, but 
It gives you the ability to uh, examine your stencil very closely, uh, check for detail, uh, sawtooth thing, and you can actually also check the and measure between lines and gradations and dots and things. So if you do half tones or if you're doing critical work where the artwork has specific measurements like maybe a ruler or, you know, because uh, rulers, metal aluminum rulers are screen printed often, right? So who knows? Or, or all kinds of technical screen printing applications where you need to examine the stencil and take measurements of the stencil itself, you would use this measure scope. So let's just take a quick look at this. Okay, so for this one, this is basically how you would use it. You would place it on your screen with your stencil and then you would look through the scope, through the eyepiece and check out your uh, lines or dot patterns. And um, unfortunately, I can't give you a look through the scope because I don't have that equipment. But when you look through this scope down onto the stencil area and you're looking at your artwork on the screen, there is a grid pattern inside the scope that will allow you to take measurements or observe measurements of lines and dots. So, and um, obviously the mag magnification will also allow you to check your stencil resolution and take a look at how, uh, you know, your uh, bridging characteristics are and things like that. All right, yeah, that, that kind of reminds me of like when you're, when you're in grade school and you had the little tabletop microscopes and stuff, you know? All right, and uh, the fourth thing, the last item today, is this uh, durometer meter or a durometer. I'm not sure how they, uh, it's listed as a, a durometer in the thing, but I, I would call it a durometer meter because it's easier to understand. And basically what this does is, is you can measure the durometer of your squeegees. If you don't know what they are, or if you want to check and see the life, the vitality of the squeegee and how well it's holding up over time, you can check with a durometer meter. Let's take a close look. Okay, so here we have the durometer meter and it's very simple to use. You can see there's a little needle at the bottom and you basically just press it flush against the squeegee and it will read the durometer. So this one's about a 65 durometer and this one over here is a 70 durometer. That's a real simple tool. And this is pretty cool because not only can you check squeegee that maybe you've had lying around and you forget what durometer is and you want to know, or perhaps you want to check and see how well your squeegee is holding up. Maybe it's time to replace some squeegee. All right. Well, there you have it. There's four tools that are often used in, in many different industrial applications of screen printing. And uh, as you can see, I had fun with them. I thought they're very cool. Uh, if you know, these aren't cheap pieces of equipment. So a smaller shop like mine, you know, I might not, I, you know, invest the money in all this type of special equipment, but I'll tell you what, it, it's, it's very cool to have around and I'm fortunate to have access to this type of equipment. So it's very cool. All right. Um, Hey, you guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. It means a lot to me. And if you like what you see, don't forget, take a minute to go down there and rate thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment too. That always helps out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.